No one was emergency. Um, I can't find my daughter. Okay, when was the last time you seen her? <laughs> What's good YouTube? Welcome back to another Missing Person Case Monday. Today we're going to be discussing five-year-old Doce Alcavaz. Doce is from the Bridgeton Park, New Jersey area. Doce was playing with her three-year-old brother before she disappeared. The three-year-old brother went back to the car where her mother was. The mother was from the statement was scratching off a lottery ticket and she was about 30 yards away. She stated that she could see the park from her vehicle, but she couldn't really see the swings. You know how when you're at the park, sometimes there's hills or whatever, and you, you really can't see the layout of parks depending on where you are. I know back in my hometown, some parks, like, you have to climb, you have to go up a hill to, like, really see things. So when the three-year-old came back to the vehicle crying, she asked where was Doce at? And he's and the little boy who really can't talk just pointed and cried and stated where she was, you know, like pointing like over there or whatnot. Many witnesses have stated that they seen Doce walking towards a red van where they seen a man and police are looking for a for this individual who is either white or Hispanic. He is about five feet, eight inches tall. He has no facial hair, has some acne on his face. And on that day, he was wearing a pair of orange shoes. Doce's mother has been in the media, you know, trying to get things to really populate. I, in fact, have seen her case a lot and I, and I just tried to stay on top of it to see what has been going on. There has been a lot of incoming calls about Doce, um, police, are following along with those leads, but there has not really been a lot of information out there. Many have, many believed or thought that the father may have taken Dolce, but the mom has come to come forward and stated that there is no custody issue pertaining their daughter and that he's not even in the United States, he's in Mexico and he doesn't have any money to get back to the US. So she does not believe that he would do anything like this. Me personally, I'm a little, I don't wanna judge, but I'm a little perplexed because you're in a vehicle and your daughter's at the park. When I go to the park, my kids don't leave my sight. I'm so paranoid. <laughs> I don't trust anyone. I don't care who you are. So for me to, here to read that she was sitting in a car scratching off a lottery ticket while her three-year-old and five-year-old went at a park 30 yards away to me that seems very far away of a distance to be away from my children i'm not doing that so i really don't want to judge but i feel like that's neglect like you really need to be with your kids and i was just reading online that She's lying about the father of her child. And then I was listening to um, the 911 call. She really didn't sound like a frantic mother. 911, where's your emergency? Um, I can't find my daughter. Okay, when was the last time you seen her? We were, we were there at the park and people said that somebody, probably somebody took her. Okay, how old is she? She's five years old. Okay, and what park are you at? Here in Bridgeton Park. Okay, where at in the Bridgeton Park are you? Um, the one with the basketball court where high school is. Okay, so you're at the basketball courts behind the high school? Yes. Okay, and uh, what was she seeing last wearing? She was wearing, um, um, give me a second. Do you play with the the boots in the I don't remember what clothes she was wearing, but she was wearing, I just remember her pants. She was wearing like a flower, flowery pants and some heels, some white heels. Okay. Hi ma'am, stay in line. I'm going to turn you over to the police, okay? You said she was five, correct? Yes. All right. Hello, ma'am? Hello. Hi, did you see which direction your child went? No, um, we were in the car. She she came down with my son. They were running to the park, and then me and my sister we came down. But when we, when we got here at the park, she wasn't here. They said they said that my son was just crying with ice cream because uh, somebody um threw his ice cream in the floor, and my daughter just ran away. All right, you didn't see anyone else around there that she could possibly have 
went with? No, not no that I know of. Because we didn't saw no one. There's just some other people that they're here that said that they saw her running, running through um through some houses in the back. And they they said that they saw two per they saw two men. They saw a black guy and they saw so who's, who's, a Mexican who's man they, with who's two kids. They, who's saying that they saw them? But there's people here in the basketball court that they saw her. They said that they saw her running. They're saying that there's people there at the basketball court that they saw her running through some houses with two black males. She's light skinned Spanish. Did, what color top does she have on? Um, I don't remember. Okay. Are you at the basketball court? Yes, I'm right here right now. She's that's affirmed. She says that she's at the basketball court. And do you have your son with you, or is your son? No, I have my son with me. They say um he was crying when we found him. He was just standing there crying. Oh, he was standing there crying. So who? You said that the black males took his ice cream. No, they um they threw it in the floor. They so had the, threw the, it in the floor. So the two males in, took his took his ice cream and threw it on the floor, and then they left with your daughter. Probably because I didn't saw it. When we okay. came in and looked for her, we were looking everywhere for she her. She said and we that her son it. was at the basketball court with her daughter. That there was two black males that took her son's ice cream and threw it on the ground and left with her daughter. Okay, well, we have the officers. Are you on Mayor Aiken? Um, I already have an officer here. Okay. All right, we'll speak with the police, ma'am, okay? Okay. For me, I would be panicking. Like, when my child, like, you know how, like, you're in the store and your child walks behind you? No, get your ass in front of me. And I'm like, Malik, where are you at, Malik? And then I'm, I start panicking. Like, I cannot take that. Like, no, I would be calling fucking 911. My mother, you know, like, maybe people handle things differently, but she just looks a little off to me. Like, I don't know could be something else I mean I also read that she's also five months pregnant so that could be another thing I don't know you know what I'm saying um but that just really was mind-blowing to read um I feel like when you're a parent your children need to be in your sight at all times I don't care I know things can get hard and uh, you know I really don't want to pull that card but at the end of the day you really have to like it's not about you anymore like you you have to be you have to hold yourself accountable when you're in when you're with your children. And some people were saying in groups like I know people handle things differently, but she just doesn't seem like a really scared mother who just lost their not lost her child, but you know, their child is missing. But again, guys, Dolce Alcaraz is missing. She's 5 years old. She went missing on September 16th of this year. So, police are trying to find her. Leads are coming in. I will keep you guys updated on this story and I'm praying for her family. And I just really hope that parents can be a little bit more mindful of their children and to be on top of them. Human trafficking is real, guys. Like, it's happening. People are taking our babies and they're they're taking our women and stuff. Like, it's real. You, people need to wake up because it could be you it could be your family like you have to be on guard at all times man when my kids are with me i don't even like shopping with my kids now because i'm tired of hearing about human trafficking in walmart you know or target period like be on top of your fucking kids man if you you know you can't go to the store have someone come with you you know or if you you don't have anyone you're a single parent like be on guard like for real, man. Until the next Missing Person Case Monday, let me guys know what you think about this. And I'm really praying for her family.